life, make this your goal. Watch the donut, not the hole. Welcome back to Good Day Let a Time is 945 and nothing says good morning quite like donuts. And a Marietta donut shop has something that's perfectly fun and silly for back to school season. Chef Anagatti, uh, owner of Donut Dollies, is here with their cereal donut, also showing us how we can make some donuts at home as well. So we're so glad to have you here today. Thank you. Good yeah, morning. Yeah, welcome. I think everybody is really excited that you're in the Good Day studio and all the goodies that you brought. I get that a lot. Sure. Okay, so you're stores in Marietta? Yeah. Yeah, very popular. Usually we see Paul Milliken there. I've seen him We've there a couple, seen Paul times. A couple of times. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, he gets to have all the fun, so I'm glad that you're with us today. Um, but it, basically, you specialize in unique flavors, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, we specialize in um, a quality product with a chef-driven approach. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. I mean, it's, it's fun to eat donuts, period. Plus, when you're talking about you know, the crazy toppings and all the fun stuff that's on top, it makes it even better. But what's really cool today is you're going to show us how we can make some donuts at home. Yeah, this uh, donut in particular, this cereal bowl is a favorite mm -hmm. um, and it's a favorite at home too. I have three girls and they love to make this one uh, with me, um, not only for kids, but for adults too. Sure, of so, course. How do we get started? Well, we're, this is, uh, donut goes on a 24 hour brioche base, which is um, a staple in the shop and we, mm -hmm. we we uh, use this for a lot of our flavors. Okay. Um, so what we've got in the bowl over here is our flour, sugar, milk, and um, eggs. Okay. And a little bit of salt, a little bit of yeast. And we just turn our mixer on. And we want that to basically come together until it forms a nice stiff dough. What you're going to be looking for is for all that flour to come up off of the sides. Okay. Um, and then once that happens, you really want to let that go for a couple of minutes. Um, but you're going to add room temperature unsalted butter. Just add a little bit at a time. This is a brioche, so it's a rich dough. Okay. Um, and you're gonna work all of that butter into your mix. <laughs> a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Yeah, it helps when you have it cut up like that so too, it's right? it's all incorporated. Yeah, yeah, and it's very important that that be the right temperature as well. Okay, so about how long does this take to get all So you're gonna mix up? that a couple of minutes, um, and then you will turn it off, Scrape the bowl down, a couple more minutes, scrape it down, all together about six minutes. So when that is done, mm -hmm. you're going to transfer it to a lightly oiled bowl. And that's what it's supposed <laughs> right? to look like. You're going to let that rise at room temperature, punch it down, and then put this, cover it uh, loosely with some plastic wrap and put it into your refrigerator. Okay. Um, so this proofs overnight, so you want to wait 24 hours before you take it out again. Mm -hmm. And then we roll it out on a, a floured work surface, cut our donuts, and then they go for a second proofing. And then once you have proofed them twice, what you you're going to fry with. them, and yeah. they look like that, just oh, golden brown. Well, that looks good. <laughs> so you fry them. We, we use a non-GMO sunflower oil at the shop, but you can use any kind of vegetable oil or shortening to fry in. And um, about a minute per side. Okay. In our cereal bowl donut, um, what makes this one really good is that we use the best part of the bowl of cereal, which is the milk that's left at the bottom. We, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the good it. stuff. So you just uh, steep the cereal, and you can use any kind of cereal that you want. Right now we're using the Fruit Loops. Um, we like it because it's a colorful. The kids mm -hmm. really go for that one. Mm -hmm. But whatever kind you like, um, you're going to take that cereal and you're going to uh, put it with your milk and allow that to steep for at least 30 minutes and get the flavor out of the cereal and into the milk. Strain it out and then you're going to make an icing out of that. So in the bowl we have already some powdered sugar and butter and we've creamed that to a nice paste. Um, and then we just add our cereal milk. Okay. And you just want it to be the right texture for... Yeah, because you got to spread it on there, right? Yeah. you got to be able to dip that donut in there and spread it on. Okay. And so how long will this mix? This is just a couple of seconds just to bring it together. All right, and then we finish that off with just a little bit of the ground up cereal. So we just took this, we, <laughs> we grind it up in a food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can right, mash it up with your hand. This keeps so getting better and better and better and better. Her and color, better. throw that in there. Just let that come together. Okay. I bet this is fun for your girls to help you out with. It's fun. Yeah. It's super messy, super fun, and they love it. All, All right. right, so now what do we do with that? So now, get our beater out of there. Mm -hmm. 
You just want to take a donut, hold it by the bottom, and this is our icing spatula. Those are a good size. Get too. that down in yes. there. Well, yeah. <laughs> do You're not skim. skimping on the we donuts. We do not skim. No. no. All right, and then that's easy enough. Big old handful. All over that. Oh, that looks good. You okay, so really pile it up like it's a bowl. We're just about out of time. So what will we do when we get to this point? Does it need? Does it just? Does it go back in the fridge, or it's nope. ready to go? It's ready to go. You just eat it. Oh. You don't have to tell us twice. <laughs> you do not have to tell us twice at all. Chef Anna, thank you so much for coming in today and showing us how to whip this up at home. Absolutely. Yeah, it looks absolutely delicious. So if you'd like today's recipe, if you want to see this again, uh, or just learn a little bit more about Donut Dollies, take a look at their menu, find their location. You can go to fox5atlanta.com and look for the viewer information story. Having some fun on this Tuesday. Thank you so much, Anna.